Vice Chancellor, Co Chancellor, Council Members, Special Guests, Staff, Graduate and Friends of Graduate. As Chancellor of the University of Auckland, I extend a warm welcome to this graduation ceremony on behalf of University Council Members and staff of the University. In particular, I welcome my guest speaker, Professor, Professor Sean Hindu. This is a meeting of the Council of the University of Auckland for the purpose of conferring degrees and awarding diplomas. Today, we will have conferred and awarded more than 2,107 qualifications on some 2,050 students in person, in absentia, and posthumously. At this ceremony, for the Faculty of Science and the Faculty of Law, 531 students will graduate in person. 228 students will graduate in absentia and one student posthumously. I will be assisted in conferring degrees and awarding diplomas by Mr. Peter Kiley, co Chancellor. <coughs> this is a happy and memorable occasion for you, the graduands, as well as your families and friends who have supported you during your studies. We congratulate you all. Equally, your achievement brings pleasure and satisfaction to the academic and professional staff of the university who have played their part in your success. Each year, the university staff conduct the graduation ceremonies with remarkable precision to make this a hugely successful day for each and every one of you. The graduation procession today brought academic flavour and colour to the streets of Auckland. And in this ceremony, you will experience the pomp and tradition befitting your well deserved day of celebration. Over a period of 130 years, the University of Auckland has become a comprehensive, research led university with a strong international reputation. Today, there are more than 40,000 students and 5,000 staff. Moreover, we are New Zealand's largest research organisation, with one third of the country's externally rated world class academic researchers. Within New Zealand, only our university is ranked within the top 1% of the world's universities. We have a strong commitment to Māori education. Of all the Māori degree graduates from New Zealand each year, 25% come from Australian institutions. 
be a gift to both of The figure for Pacific graduates is 40%. We are very aware that our fishing and next back in Tennessee universities. Hence, we are always looking to create new opportunities for all our undergraduate and postgraduate students and improve the quality of our teaching program. In May this year, we concluded the purchase of the 5.2 hectare former Lion Brewery site on Carver Park. This purchase will provide the university with a site for expansion over the next 50 years. Contiguous to the city and grass and campuses into the major business area of Newmarket. At Newmarket, demolition of the old industrial building is nearly complete, and we've commenced construction of the engineering test hall and the engineering research laboratories. These buildings represent an investment of some $88 million and support our engineering and research and postgraduate teaching for the benefit of all New Zealand. We will occupy the first of these new facilities in November 2014. Work has also begun on the new science tower on the corner of Willowsley and Simon Street. This major construction project, which represents an investment of more than $200 million, will not only allow us to upgrade science, teaching and research, but allow us to integrate the School of Psychology and the School of Environment into the main science precinct. This will free up the Human Sciences Building for refurbishment to the centre of the outskirts. Spending on new buildings as identified in our long-term capital plan will total several hundred million dollars by the end of the decade. But buildings alone do not make a great university. We need excellent teachers as well. Three of our staff, Professor Alison Jones, Associate Professor Brian Lee James, and Associate Professor Casey Simpson, were recipients of National Tertiary Teaching Excellence Awards in July this year. This means that Auckland, the University of Auckland has won at least one National Tertiary Teaching Award in all but one of the last 12 years, demonstrating that both teaching and research excellence can be delivered by a single institution. <coughs> the crucial contribution of major research universities such as ours is not well understood. Our innovative research is vital for long-term, sustainable economic growth and social cohesion, never more so than the testing economic times we face in the wake of the global recession and the past year's earthquake. The universities equip graduates like you, not simply for the jobs of today, but for careers not yet imagined. So as you graduate, please reflect on the ongoing learning opportunities and consider a wide range of postgraduate options available for you at Auckland. I ask you to consider that because we can never rest on our laurels, especially in a challenging and ever changing world. However, whatever path you follow, I urge you, as the alumni of New Zealand's leading university, to never forget your alma mater or university. We rely on our graduates to support moral, political, and financial. Funders and strength are a perennial problem for New Zealand universities, still being asked to do more and more and less and less each year. In fact, in these hard times, we should be spending more on universities, not less. But that's enough of the substantial issues facing us all as members of a 21st century university of high aspirations. Because today is your day, and the focus firmly on your achievements. At this ceremony, we honour your success, along with the support of your family, family, and others who have sustained you through your studies. I congratulate you and trust that you will long cherish the memories of your graduation today. I am delighted to welcome as our speaker, Professor Sean Hendy. Industry and Outreach Fellow for the Callaghan Innovation. Sean has a PhD in Physics from the University of Alberta in Canada and a BSc with honours in Mathematical Physics from Massey University. This year he was awarded the Australian and New Zealand Industrial and Applied Mathematics EO Tuck Medal for Research in Applied Mathematics. His first book was published last month. 
entitled Get Off the Blast, which he co-authored with the late Sir Paul Gallagher. In 2012, Swan was awarded the Callaghan Medal by the Royal Society of New Zealand and the Prime Minister's Science Media Communication Prize for his achievements as a science communicator. The same year, he was also elected a fellow of the Royal Society of New Zealand for his research on nanotechnology. In 2010, Sean was awarded the New Zealand Association of Scientists Research Medal and the Massey, and Massey University Distinguished Young Alumni Award. Sean has a wide range of research interests, including computational physics, nanoscience, complex systems, and innovation. He has authored more than 90 peer reviewed journal articles on these and other topics. He writes a blog, A Measure of Science. It's part of Cyblogs.co.nz and has a monthly column in a limited magazine. He also has a regular slot on Radio New Zealand Maps as physics correspondent. It's great pleasure in writing Sean for this year. Council, Vice Council, members of Council, Members of the university, graduates, families, and friends. Tina Kaupo, Tina Kaupo, Tina Kaupo, Kaupo. It is my great privilege to join you here tonight to celebrate the achievements of some of our most talented young people. The science and law degrees granted tonight by the University of Auckland will be recognised as world class wherever they are taken. Some graduates will be returning to their home countries after their studies in, here in New Zealand while others will no doubt be thinking about getting overseas, perhaps looking for an adventure uh, on an OE. It has become a rite of passage for many young Kiwis to head off overseas with a backpack and a guidebook to experience busier, more cosmopolitan parts of the world. This has long been the way of things in New Zealand. A year ago, I made a short visit to the World War I battlefield of Flanders. Carved in the marble that surrounds the time clock cemetery is the name of my great great uncle, Niels Anderson. An infantryman in the New Zealand Rifle Brigade, he was killed in the fighting around Passchendaele in the autumn of 1917. Gazing at his name on the New Zealand Memorial, I wondered if, like many young New Zealanders today, it was his sense of adventure that took him to the far side of the planet. And it was not so long ago that many of our leading thinkers and scientists spent their careers overseas. Ernest Rutherford did his work in Cambridge, Manchester, and Montreal. Alan McDermott, the hot belly born, Nobel Prize winning chemist, spent most of his career in the United States. For almost a century, it was accepted that talented Kiwis had to leave their home country to make the most of their gifts. But today, this has changed. My friend and mentor, the late support Callahan, forged his career as a world leading physicist, businessman, and thinker, first from Palmerston North and then from Wellington. What Sir Paul showed us is that adventure is something we can try at home. It's not just about playing backpacks into combi vans. It can be had in the scientific challenges we accept or in the new businesses we start. Many New Zealanders are now following Sir Paul's example. Our technology sector is growing rapidly, and our scientists now routinely compete with the best in the world. So let me set you a challenge tonight. To close the gap in wealth with Australia, we just need another 100 technology businesses. Now, tech firms can be built on just the type of know-how and the ability to think critically that you have all acquired to earn your degrees. These businesses are much greener than much of our existing economy, and the high value add that knowledge provides means that they can widely export for the long distances. For those of you that want a real adventure, why not set yourself to go to founding a startup company, or perhaps building a career at one of our talent hungry technology firms right here in Auckland? If you accept this challenge, then you will have the power to alter the future course of New Zealand's economy. The world has come to depend on creative, skilled, and entrepreneurial people like never before. It is the use and production of knowledge that now drives patience, and New Zealand is no exception. To succeed in this challenge, you'll need to make use of the friendships, 
and networks of contacts that you have built during your time here at the University of Auckland. So look around you tonight. Your success will depend in part on those that you, you see cross the stage in just a few minutes. Your network will follow you wherever you go, so make sure you use it to turn your great ideas into big successes. And succeed you will. If just 100 of you tonight were to start a new technology business, then the mathematics of success tells us that in a decade's time, one of those firms will have a turnover of more than 100 million dollars. In two decades, one of them may even get a turnover that exceeds one billion dollars, and I'm sure your council would like to hear from you at that point. Now that's not bad, and it's also a good incentive for keeping in touch with your peers around you tonight. For those of you that do return to your home country, or still have the urge to see the world before you come back to New Zealand and start that tech firm, spread the message of what we're up to here. Tell everyone that New Zealand, New Zealand is a custodian of a unique flora and fauna set in a magnificent landscape. Tell them about our inspiring creative arts. Tell them about the unique cultural blend of Māori Tama and the heritage of our more recent Pākehā, Pacifica and Asian arrivals. Tell them about the wealth of opportunity that exists in our rapidly growing technology sector. Tell them that this is what makes New Zealand a place where talent wants to live. Perhaps don't tell them about the rain. So let me congratulate you once again and congratulate those who have supported you in your studies. Whether you are heading back home, starting a new career, or running a startup in your parents' garage, I wish, wish you the best of luck in your future endeavours. Thank you, Professor Hindi, for the most interesting, and challenging, and insightful address. This is a meeting of council and convocation of the university for a ceremony of concurring degrees in the Wooden Club. At this ceremony, the co chancellor Peter Carney and I will be concurring degrees in the Wooden Club. I invite the co chancellor to award the diploma and some further degrees in the first half of the ceremony. The authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Peter Cayley, Pro Chancellor, confer the degrees and award the diplomas stated upon those who, within the faculties, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Deputy Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Nixon, to present their dreams in that faculty. Oh, well, Vice Chancellor, the Deputy Dean, I have the honor of presenting you a student qualified the award of a diploma or a confirmed degree in the Faculty of Science. Graduate Diploma in Science, Zayan Chen. <laughs> Anthony Moses Lane. <laughs> and the degree of Bachelor of Science, Muhammad Himli Ab Khalid. Usman Abdul Ghani. Imogen Miranda Campbell Ebenezer. Christopher Martin Aiken. Nidala Abdul Rahman M. Balasni. 
Bethany, Tanya, and Tanya. Michelle, Sarah, and Anne. Jeff, Ralph, Andrews. Rosemary, Hazel, and Nuna and Marina is me. Marcus John Farquhar Atkins. Ricky Far Easy, Otaman, Otania Baya. Ted Darcy. Ted Darcy Bitter. Javier Singh Bandari. Neil William Burrell. Ron Christian Eliza. Aaron, Aaron Lee Bloomberg. Cedric Mark Bondal. Vincent Burrell, <laughs> Lee Margaret Brown, <laughs> George Cleveland Brown, <laughs> Slade Maisha Bukhari, <laughs> Nicholas Reginald Edward Bunyan. Brian James Burmis. <laughs> Alexandra Rosanne Valerio Burroughs. <laughs> Kimberly Chacona. <laughs> Nicholas Chick Hong Chan. <laughs> Nicholas James Chetley. Nadine Marie Chi. Chin Kaihua. Heidi Sun Yu Chin. Si Yu Sin Chin. Hop Chin Chin. Kai Chung, Kaya Chung, Mark Shane Torimensky, Norman Wobin Chu, C. Yang Chu. Rachel Olive Grace Colvin. Aidan Daniel Daly. Mulsari Dillon. Joseph Emmanuel de Medici. Raylan Charlene DeMello. Richard Alexander Downer. Brett Jason Draggett. Thomas Andrew Glenn. Amy Dalfay Dwan. <laughs> Jamie Marie Dudley. <laughs> Anne 
Rachel George, Stacy Adele George, Lily Sippy Gutierrez, Andrew David Brown, Jared Alexander. Ian Lewis Brunson, Jamie Ellis Hotel, Sian Khan, Sun Hee Khan. Freedom James Carson, Brian Joseph Cut, Jared Peter Hutton, Ariana Bracino Cotton. Thomas Finnegan. Vinay Ramos Hill. Gregory Joseph Cook. Anthony James William Cook. Sian King. Johnson Wong, Alan King, Tim Barnes, Sarah Ann Jack. Diana Jashari. Water J1. Hui Yun Jong. Hamlet Kieran Jong. Igor Yovovich. Margaret S. Wiener. Favorite Khan. Faith Hammond Hill. Barton Khan. Kevin Hammond Khan. Sam 
Regina Tupacaleo or Lupe E. Tapua Labulo. Tadian Wu. Betty Yung Tong Li. Jacob William Martin. Frankie Danielle Medill Banner. Gordon Kathleen McGreal. Sarah Allison McClay. Jana Lapatile Moor, Emma Kirsten Morgan, Richard Thomas Morgan, Asad Nassim, Rosemary Elizabeth Nash. Michael Mark Owen. Henrietta Anne Vavaui Tazu. Marie 
einen Tempel. Katrina Tanya Aramita. Jihei Park. Namaasi Nitin Chandra Parajika. Bhavina Patel. Dwani Bhattima Patel. Christina Isa Dalai Patricia. Jane Jimmy Calderon. Two old king. Elmery Grace Emma Plumage. Rachel Francesca Esquivel Maywan Queen. Thomas Kumar Kishore Kumar Prajapati. Rowan Lu Kessler. Alex Rossidin. Megan Elizabeth Rickaby. Daniel Ann Wicket. Bridget Leticia Danielle Robbins. James Duncan Robertson. Rose Nina Rosslan. Emily Carol Russell. Mark David Sophia. Thomas Edward Saunders. Sarah Shinka. Kristen Claire Scott. Craig Cedric Suits. Shereen Radhika Sharma. Courtney, Courtney Joanne Shaw, Bree Sim, Stephen Sim, Well, Vice Chancellor, I now call upon the Associate Dean Academic at the Faculty of Science, Mrs. Goldstone, to present her graduates. To the degree of Bachelor of Science, be where she. Daniel Ryan Sims. Kamal Kavishna Singh. Shrevenel Pravin Singh. Sabana Ruby Savaraja. Lauren Kelly Snail. Janine Sarga. Bradley Adam Swanson. Jessica Victoria Spinetta. <laughs> 
Jonathan Parker Sprint. Soros Jerk Trader. Sonia Jean Chinavarsky. The Jeremy Street Park Marathon. Brittany Perry Spoonbill. Liam Douglas Stewart. Gemma Alexandra Strada. Brian Freedom. Herbindon Sikama. Julia Samara Sikam. Then another Golden Silver Hugh Hawson Agape Early Mr. Uri Jonathan David Bella. Jennifer Louise Van Houten. Tom Wong. Sean Michael Wood. Lauren Michelle Wright. This is a final report. Jonathan James Wyatt. Elizabeth Michelle Wilson. Joseph Player Canambo Wong Santiago. Kim Jong Woo. To the degree of bachelor of technology is second class on this first division, how do you plan? To 
the degree of factor of technology that's taking place on the second division, may have subject to both AC joints. This kind of challenge. To the degree of Bachelor of Science Congress, Rachel Hannibal Kerr, Nelson Allen, and the Bachelor of Arts. Anise Lara Mojavica, and the Bachelor of Arts. Anthony Dark, and the Bachelor of Arts. Stephanie Jean Gates and the Bachelor of Arts. Shannon Tom Hawkins and the Bachelor of Arts. The young one, Susan Roberta Horn and the Bachelor of Arts. Daniel Maria and the Bachelor and the Bachelor of Arts. Kilby Amy Sikron and the Bachelor of Arts. Gavin Gao Zhang Lee and the Bachelor of Commerce. Lenny Lee and the Bachelor of Commerce. Christopher Michael Moyer and the Bachelor of Arts. Antonio Cosimarova, Mark Posa, and the Bachelor of Law. Arini Pasarenda Radeville, and the Bachelor of Commerce. Hamish Kimchimai Patel, and the Bachelor of Commerce. Sarah Ruth Peterson and the Bachelor of Commerce. And Carol Bethlehem Gamori and the Bachelor of Commerce. Susan Wong and the Bachelor of Commerce. Eric Aaron Webster and the Bachelor of Commerce. Young Han and the Bachelor of Commerce. Lisa Jin Jung and the Bachelor of Commerce. Postgraduate Diploma in Science with the Distinction, Andrew Everett K. Dallas in an Environment Management. Yun Young Choi in Biomedical Science. Diane Lynn Fraser and Les Pierre in Translation. Postgraduate Diploma in Science is now Carolina Amaya Perot in Biological Sciences. Kevin Tabucco in Geography. And his son in Pharmacology. Donna Savana, that's my evening and going to the meeting. Young Lee and Chris Knox. Ryan Michael Lynch and Geographic Information Systems. Maria Kalaka Sabinka Raman in both security and construction. Baby McElroy in 
Dana Castaner, Santos, and Georgian. Hannah Eileen Williams in Biological Sciences. Vice President of Primer and Science, Tanay Garish Akavali in Pharmacology. Silla Camilla Sharona Brown in Environmental Management. Karen Daniel Bill in Geographic Information Science. Michael King in Physics. Jackson Gregory Sunday and Computer Science. Noel Marie Seedling Gold in Psychology. Claire Louise Honey in Biological Sciences. Krishna Kumar in Computer Science. Linda Lin in Computer Science. William Thomas Graham in New York Country. Jacqueline Fee in Food Science. Alpen Sharma in Computer Science. Vivek Kuma Singh in Food Science. Dragon Pet Singh Tawana in Pharmacology. David William Vedder in Biosecurity and Conservation. Kiri Ya in Computer Science. This is Dan Kominik in Environmental Science. Guan Zhang in Food Science. To the degree of Bachelor of Science Honors for Food Science Honors. Martha Carbon in Food Science. University Graduate Scholar Charlotte Joy by Charlie Connell in School of Business and Science. Danielle Patricia Courtney in Psychology. Benjamin Joseph Daniels in Chemistry. Miranda Jane Emery in Computer Science. To the degree of Bachelor of Science Honours, the second class honours is provision, Jason Tom and Statistics. Christopher Bruce Gartner and Geography. Martin Feng Yang and Computer Science. The degree of Bachelor of Science Honours is second class honours, second division. Mighty Christine to Centre for London and Statistics from the Bachelor of Science and the Graduate of Science. <laughs> Jenna Leanne Thor from Physics.
Thank you, Dr. Chancellor, for comparing the degrees and awarding the diplomas in the first half of the sermon. One of the great pleasures of graduation is the opportunity to hear performances by students from our acclaimed School of Music. Stella Tim on violin, accompanied by Rosemary Brown on piano, and now he's a form of key game, and that's the time we for that. Thank <laughs> you. 
By the authority vested in me by resolution of the University of Auckland Council, I, Ian Parson Chancellor, award the diploma to confer the degree only upon those who, in the Faculty of Science and Faculty of Law, have satisfied the requirements of this university. I call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Science, Professor Dilford, to present, present two of the graduates in that faculty. The degree of Master of Life Science Enterprise with second class or the second division to your super. To the degree of Master of Science with first class honors, Ravishka Marisha Arthur in forensic science and a post graduate diploma in forensic science with merit. Gonzalo Andre Zavila Olsen in biosecurity and conservation. Jesse Bong Megan in Biological Science. <laughs> University Graduate Scholar Peter Nicholas Bong in Psychology. <laughs> Tony Fung An Chan in Pharmacology. <laughs> Chi Chin in Sport and Exercise Science. Jimmy T. Tung Chu in Psychology. <laughs> Victoria Ann Clark in Room Science. <laughs> Justin Rene Coffin in Health Psychology and Associate Diploma in Science with Merit in Health Psychology. <laughs> Hannah Collins in Psychology. James Edward Quinn Conway in Geology. <laughs> Georgia Thelma Rose Cummings in Biosecurity and Conservation. <laughs> Esther Elizabeth Bale in Biosecurity and Conservation. <laughs> Sandeep Chile Dao in Health Psychology. Claire Patricia Dunham in forensic science and a postgraduate diploma in forensic science with distinction. <laughs> Annette Elizabeth Evans in biosecurity and conservation. 
Anna, Kate, Farquhar, and Kim is here. This is it in Australia, Patriot, and Moon Fire. Jonathan and David Slotkin in environmental management and Coastal Climate and Science with Merit in environmental management. Tobias, Helen, Francis, and Geology. Becky, Stanley, Ryan, Freeman, and Physics. Melissa Fu in biomedical science and a postgraduate diploma in science with Merit in biomedical science. Tina Kathagay, Gananda, and Dara Gumagay in Biomedical Science. Matthew Jane Phillies in Geography. Caitlin Bianca Golder in Environmental Management. Olivia Nicole Patricia Hamilton in Biological Sciences. In my time in one summer. Join in Chi Huang in chemistry. Che Oak Jun in psychology. Robin Louise Kennemayer in biosecurity and conservation. Rosie Kong in chemistry. <laughs> Miriam and Diana Langside Smith in optometry. <laughs> Andrew Jung Lee in biomedical science. <laughs> Robin Martin Matthews in speech science. Amber Denise McClellan in Psychology. <laughs> Liam Arthur Stonex McClellan in Physics. <laughs> Tessa Mary Nascale in Mathematics. <laughs> Leanne Monique Moyle in Marine Science. Whether Sri Haran, Mir in Health Psychology, and a postgraduate diploma in science with Mirrors in Health Psychology. <laughs> University Graduate Scholar, Irumira Taraki Nathan in Biosecurity and Conservation. <laughs> Dobashini Pushpar Newman in Biological Sciences. Nina Ivorovna Mazikova in chemistry and a postgraduate diploma in science with merit in chemistry. <laughs> Eileen Rachel Nolan Walker in biosecurity and conservation. <laughs> Wei Ping Pai in food science and a postgraduate diploma in science in food science. Kathy Prashant Patel in Physics. <laughs> See you King in Forensic Science and a postgraduate diploma in Forensic Science with Mary. <laughs> Simon James Potter in Statistics. <laughs> Andrew Martin Probert in Computer Science. Denny Riadi in Computer Science. <laughs> Samuel Morgan Scott Kelly in Geography. <laughs> Sumin Song in Chemistry. <laughs> Hayden Christine Sparks in Geography. Jamie Reagan Severe in Biosecurity and Conservation. <laughs> Zoe Lee Stone in Biosecurity and Conservation. <laughs> Ray 
Rana Tagi Forum in Biomedical Science. The University Graduate Scholar Kirsten Faye Thompson in Biological Sciences. Way one in food science. University Graduate Scholar Janine Michaela Watson in Forensic Science. Simon John Newell in Mathematics. Inan Wan in Biomedical Science. Catherine Yu Yang in Biomedical Science. To the degree of Master Science with Seeking Class on its first division, Akati Rukshana Rafahaya Lakana in Biomedical Science. Amayun John Arachahi in Chemistry. And Drinky Violet Benedict in Forensic Science in a postgraduate diploma in Forensic Science. Jacob Alexander Berti in Forensic Science. University Graduate Scholar Nathan James Kent in Biological Science. Daniel Carlton in Chemistry. Shalise is a here in Forensic Science and a postgraduate diploma in Forensic Science with merit. He then succeeds to Raj in Chemistry. Kiria Margaret Elizabeth Fenton in Marine Science. Melanie Holzer in Forensic Science and a postgraduate diploma in Forensic Science. Lindu <laughs> Min in Environmental Science. Christopher Michael Liu in Biological Sciences and a postgraduate diploma in Science and Biological Science. Gillian Rachel Patterson in Biological Sciences. Captain Beer in Food Science. Carrie Marie Spooner in Mathematics and a postgraduate diploma in Science and Mathematics. Steve Kwan Tang in Pharmacology. Marini Teresa Patero, Tuimale Ali Isano in Biological Sciences. Lennox Sheila Mew in Medical Statistics. Jian Zhang in Medical Statistics. Yoshi Jang in Environmental Science. To the degree of Master Science with Second Class Honors, Second Division, Erin Marie Berry in Environmental Management. Wan Chen Chang in Biomedical Science. <laughs> Nathanin Karada Daki in Psychology. Wan <laughs> Yu Lin in Physics. <laughs> Caleb Robert Mayer in Environmental Science. Jim Lee in Environmental Management. Jermaine Purse, the two in Forensic Science. Ford Dean Simpson in Environmental Management. Ryan Nicholas Smith in Geography.
Dylan Sin Lung Tay in geography. Rajesh Kumar Tiagi in physics. To the degree of Master of Science, Samit Shah Shahish Kazi in biomedics. Andrea Carmen Pile in biomedical science. And in Absentia, all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the award of a diploma or confirmant of a degree in the Faculty of Science. I now call upon the Dean of the Faculty of Law, Dr. Stockley, to present graduates in that faculty. Chancellor, as Dean, I have the honor of presenting to you the students qualified for the award of a diploma or confirmant of a degree in the Faculty of Law. The degree of a Bachelor of Laws, Catherine Louise Chivers. <laughs> Liana Huda Hohaya. <laughs> Michael Yui Howip. Shane Lee, <laughs> Zephyr Jensen Lee, <laughs> Derek Graham Nolan, <laughs> Fiona Jane O'Malley, <laughs> Kate Leanna Pearson, The degree of Bachelor of Laws conjoint. Priscilla Asaikai Akwai in the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Tessa Ann Baker in the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Sarah Julia Bear Sophia Ogle in the Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Lauren Haley Boucher in the Bachelor of Arts. I'm going to go for a team of Gracie and a Bachelor of Arts. Wesley Michael Bridger and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Stephanie Ella Khan and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Rowan Chauhan and a Bachelor of Commerce. Hey Suen Chun and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Philip Timothy Crisp and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Hannah Jermaine Clark and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Benjamin Michael Corbett and a Bachelor of Commerce. <laughs> Sean Joseph Dolden and a Bachelor of Commerce. Jing Chuan Guo and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Harry Samuel Hallett Hook and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Rebecca Helen Hemus and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Samuel Leonard Jackson and a Bachelor of Arts. Yang Tian and a Bachelor of Arts. Jordan Francis Lynch and a Bachelor of Commerce. Lona Maria Siedemika and a Bachelor of Arts. Larissa Angela Mills and a Bachelor of Arts. Krishna Mahini and a Bachelor of Arts. 
Lazana Nizam and a Bachelor of Commerce. Arlene Price and a Bachelor of Commerce. Emily Jane Rowland with a Bachelor of Commerce. Michael Sopolo and a Bachelor of Arts. Manata Setian and a Bachelor of Arts. Morgan Jane Short and a Bachelor of Commerce. Blake Marcus Skelton and a Bachelor of Commerce. Alice Josephine Sneddon and a Bachelor of Arts. Kenton Ian Starr and a Bachelor of Science. Nina Zoling Thompson and a Bachelor of Commerce. Charlotte Elizabeth Tolley and a Bachelor of Arts. Kima Elizabeth Tuarili and a Bachelor of Arts. Yvonne Yui Wang and a Bachelor of Commerce. Sophie Margaret Watson and a Bachelor of Arts. Landon James Watt and a Bachelor of Arts. Jimmy Furry Anastasia Moy to James Sawyer Watts and a Bachelor of Arts. David Martin Alexander Wiseman and a Bachelor of Arts. Georgina Marie Woods Child and a Bachelor of Arts. Degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Senior Scholar in Law, Nicola Jane Brazendale. <laughs> Sebastian James Davis Brown. <laughs> Emma Marion Gibbs. <laughs> Jennifer Ellen Kennedy Harley. For the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Conjoint. Sen Bao and a Bachelor of Commerce. Sarah Kate Battersby and a Bachelor of Arts. Senior Scholar in Law, Hamish Anthony Beckett and a Bachelor of Arts. Senior Scholar in Chemistry, Peter Anthony Bevan and a Bachelor of Science. Henry John Cairns and a Bachelor of Commerce. Janet Rita Calder Watson and a Bachelor of Arts. Francine Ying Lai Chai and a Bachelor of Arts. Senior Scholar in Law, Simon Matthew Collier and a Bachelor of Commerce. Matthew Brian Considine and a Bachelor of Property. Francis Patricia Everard and a Bachelor of Arts. Leona Feng and a Bachelor of Commerce. Ashton Kent Goatley and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Senior Scholar in Law, David Ross Green and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Victoria Mariana Hedlow and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Noor Ayman Hamid and a Bachelor of Arts. Daniela Runia Hubba and a Bachelor of Arts. <laughs> Senior Scholar in Law, B. 
Bing Ching Hu and a Bachelor of Arts. C. L. Blaine and a Bachelor of Science. Felicity Jane Huller and a Bachelor of Commerce. Amy Rose Jordan and a Bachelor of Arts. Marion Grace Kennedy and a Bachelor of Commerce. Andre Prude Sovats and a Bachelor of Arts. Inya Kutasni Alang and a Bachelor of Arts. Wing Hei Caleb Liu and a Bachelor of Arts. Hugh Connell McGee and a Bachelor of Arts. Alice Catherine McIntosh and a Bachelor of Arts. Thomas Stephen Carr and a Bachelor of Commerce. Thomas William Wilson Price and a Bachelor of Arts. Andrew Robert Priestley and a Bachelor of Arts. Andrew Stuart Rose and a Bachelor of Commerce. Senior Scholar in Law, James Anthony Riddell and a Bachelor of Arts. And Malvino Kumar Shankar and a Bachelor of Health Sciences. Maitili Shreen and a Bachelor of Arts. Rene Marie Sukwu Yoon and a Bachelor of Arts. For the degree of Master of Laws with First Class Honours. University Graduate Scholar, Jessica Lee Birdsell Day. <laughs> Felicity Claire Montero. <laughs> Bettina Warren in International Law. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Laws with Second Class Honours First Division. Sayuku Ritsky Fermansiai Armin in Litigation and Dispute Resolution. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Laws, David Levy in Environmental Law. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Legal Studies with Second Class Honours First Division, Rebecca Lee Barclay in Environmental Law. in absentia, those other persons named in the Book of Qual Convocation qualified for the conferment of a degree or the award of a diploma from the Faculty of Law. I now call upon the Vice-Chancellor to present the doctoral graduates. Chancellor, I have the honour of presenting to you the doctoral graduates. To the degree of Doctor of Clinical Psychology, Priscilla Sasha Bruno Herman, University Doctoral Scholar. Sasha conducted a longitudinal neuropsychological evaluation of individuals pre symptomatic for Huntington's disease. Her research identified cognitive biomarkers capable of tracking progression towards clinical onset which could be used in therapeutic trial of disease-modifying interventions. Sarah Ann Walston Home University Doctoral Scholar. Sarah described the demographic abuse, authority involvement, and family characteristics of a large group of maltreated children examined the factors related to psychological harm and described the experiences of support 
that parents receive following the abuse of their children. This research was conducted with a view to enhancing treatment provisions for such families within child protection services. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Jacinta Anthony in Physics and a Bachelor of Science Honours in Physics with First Class Honours, Jess designed novel microstructured polymer film fibres for the Chetrahead spectral range and experimentally investigated their characteristics. For the first time, she was able to determine the losses as well as the group velocity dispersion parameter of these novel fibres. David James Baker, North Cape Bade, and Geography, University of Oxford Scholar. David's research investigated tensions and conflicts arising in the management of coastal heritage in protected areas to high natural heritage values, all which are becoming natural through ecological restoration. His thesis argued that to achieve positive outcomes for cultural heritage, protected areas should be reconceptualized as places with a plurality of heritage values which all deserve protection. <laughs> Robert Lamar Brown in Biological Sciences. Robert investigated the chemical signals that social wasps use to find potential mates and locate food sources. This work will be used to develop tools for controlling invasive social wasps in New Zealand. <laughs> Patrick Lewis Carhill in Marine Science. Patrick investigated novel methods for controlling sea squirts, which cause major problems when they invade shellfish farms. The results of Patrick's research have generated several promising solutions to this problem, which are now being investigated for potential commercial development. <laughs> Xiaofan Chen in Computer Science. Xiaofan investigated new approaches to automatically linking written software deck documentation to its associated computer code, helping to support program comprehension, which can consume 50% of the software maintainer's time. By combining the techniques of regular expressions, key phrases, and clustering with information retrieval, their model is shown to improve the precision of retrieved links and recover more true links than information retrieval alone. Chun Ho Carlos Chung in Biological Sciences. Carlos investigated the role of copper ions and copper homeostasis, which are altered in the diabetic myocardium, and tested a new potential treatment for diabetes induced cardiovascular disease. Tara Michelle Coleman in Geography. Tara employed a range of creative qualitative methods in the course of investigating the meaning of ageing, locality and well-being for seniors living on Waiheke Island. She contributed innovative understandings of ageing in place through identifying metaphors of islandness and a strong sense of place and identity as being central to retirees' abilities to respond to and integrate challenges and change, thereby highlighting the importance to well-being of strong, effective ties to place. <laughs> Rebecca Christine Deed in Biological Sciences, Bright Future Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Rebecca investigated the effect of low temperature fermentation on wine quality with a view to developing improved strains of yeast for white wine fermentation 
especially Sauvignon Blanc. Nun Preet for Dharmi and Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Nun Preet investigated the intricate relationship between honeydew producing scale insects and their symbiotic bacteria. Her research provides an example of how microbes can influence communities from their scale insect host to the sooty molds, insects, and birds that feed on the sugar rich honeydew. Benjamin Daniel Dixon in Chemistry, University Doctoral Scholar. Benjamin developed novel extensions to ACIL trace and rearrangement methodology in order to enable efficient preparation of biologically active natural products and their analogs for pharmaceutical research and development. Emma Ann Dixon in Chemistry, University Doctoral Scholar. Emma developed new synthetic methods that enable the preparation of a number of biologically active natural product analogs with a view to developing new therapeutic agents. <laughs> Lauren Angela Ferguson in Chemistry, University Doctor Scott. Lauren investigated the properties and reactivity of metallobenzene and developed an entirely new reaction plan for these compounds, which is called nucleophilic aromatic substitution of hydrogen. This reaction is significant in that it provides new opportunities for the functionalization of metallobenzene and the possibility of subsequently forming highly conjugated polymeric materials. <laughs> Erin Mary Gaver in Psychology, University Doctoral Scholar. Erin investigated how families commute, communicate with children with life limiting illnesses about their terminal prognosis. She aimed to help health healthcare providers better understand the families they work with. Erin explored reasons that families spoke about death or avoided the topic, and the desires of siblings and patients to be involved in taking care of their families. Three Tiang Brian Gray in Chemistry, University Doctor of Scholar. Brian explored the chemical diversity of the spiroacetyl scaffold through the synthesis of novel spiroacetyl triazole, tetrazole, and peptide analogs. The, the synthetic routes he developed allow access to these chemical compounds in suitable quantities for biological testing and serve as a platform for future research into different spiroacetyl analogs. <laughs> Daniel Lai in Biological Sciences. Dan developed practical tools for the molecular diagnostic environment and undertook fundamental studies in disease modeling with a view to the development of targeted therapies. It's not you. <laughs> Daniel appears not to be with us tonight. Lap Ming Law in Biological Sciences. Andy investigated some of the fundamental properties of how insects are able to smell. He identified a region of odorant receptors that is important for the recognition of a specific chemical. Andy's work will contribute to the use of insect odorant receptors in olfactory biosensors and in the development of novel pest control technologies. Yong J. Lee in Geography, University Doctoral Scholar. Jane examined the everyday lives of Korean immigrants of Auckland who return migrated to Korea, exploring the reasons for their return, the contributions that they made to their homeland, 
and what identity negotiations they experience as returnees. Kathisa argues that although transnational languages facilitate movements and allow immigrants to make strategic life choices across borders, longings for home as well as a sense of national identity and belonging remain prevalent among recent Korean and New Zealander returnees. Jerome Leveneur in Chemistry. Jerome investigated the mechanisms behind the iron beam induced formation and evolution of magnetic nanoparticles in insulator surfaces. Such materials have considerable promise as sensing elements for large magnetic fields and in novel microelectronic applications. Meredith Louise Lowe in Marine Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Meredith examined factors determining the value of estuarine habitats as nurseries for juvenile fishes and evaluated the impacts of changing environmental conditions on fish health. She found clear negative effects of catchment land use changes on fishes such as juvenile snapper, with her research findings now being integrated into system based, sorry, ecosystem based management of coastal fisheries and critical habitats. <laughs> Miao Miao Mao in Biomedical Science. Miao Miao in provided the first detailed description of the structural and functional development of the dorsal cochlear nucleus in the brain. This is an important center for the detection and localization of environmental sounds as well as for identifying the key features in speech sounds that are essential for accurate speech recognition. <laughs> Nora Fasliano Mokta in Food Science. Fasliano investigated chemical and enzymatic modification of fish gelatin with a view to employing modified versions as halal and kosher additives in the food industry. <laughs> Anais Francoise Maurice Noisier in chemistry. Anais prepared new tyrosine mimics which were incorporated into peptidome mimetics for the treatment of autoimmune diseases. In addition, she developed a new methodology with a high throughput synthesis of optically pure amino acids, which are essential synthetic tools for drug discovery. <laughs> Bahana Ruckman Penu in Biological Sciences. Bahana just demonstrated that an unbiased and global metabolomics approach was an ideal tool to discover unsuspected connections between juice chemical composition and wine properties. Many of the outcomes from their study can be practically implemented by the wine industry to produce different styles of Sauvignon Blanc wines. <laughs> Abneil Amtesh Prasad in physics. By analyzing a very large amount of satellite data, Abneil discovered that the greenhouse effect of tropical thin cirrus clouds had weakened significantly over the last decade. This implies a potential reduction in the rate of global warming and will be an important component of future climate models. <laughs> Shelley Ruth Roberson in Biological Sciences. University Doctoral Scholar, Bright Future Top Achiever Doctoral Scholar. Shelley investigated the role of magnesium in the toxicity of aluminium to plants with a view to the development of improved crop plants that are capable of higher yields on acidic soils.
David Tairiki Nurangi William Rotherham and Forensic Science University Doctoral Scholar. David investigated botanical material as a source of forensic evidence and developed new tools for characterisation of this material, thus offering a potential new approach for forensic investigations. Jonathan Rubin in Computer Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Jonathan investigated the use of an artificial intelligence methodology known as case-based reasoning within the domain of computer games. He developed algorithms that allow computer programs to produce sophisticated game-playing strategies by observing decisions made by expert players. Roman Asparti, Ganapati, Shastri in Biomedical Science. Roman Asparti investigated functional aspects of a novel human gene in mammary carcinoma with a view to developing therapeutic applications. Helen Marie Shearman in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Helen's research focused on evaluating and developing methods for building large evolutionary trees from a set of smaller evolutionary trees. She also evaluated and developed methods for using evolutionary trees to assess the diversity of a group of species and selecting a group of species for conservation. Jinhui Karina Sim Smith in Marine Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Karina investigated the breeding and larval settlement biology of snapper in shallow coastal waters around Auckland and in Mercury Bay. Her research has delivered important new information on this valuable fish species. Adam Grant's story in sport and exercise science. Adam identified and evaluated key physiological processes that contribute to the recovery and adaptation following high intensity resistance exercise in competitive weightlifters and resistance trained adults. His findings have implications for the specification and refinement of training practices aimed at enhancing athletic performance. Jan Kristen Trays in Psychology. Jan investigated Stage Challenge, a popular secondary school dance, drama, and design competition. Her objective was to identify the benefits and challenges of participating in Stage Challenge from the student's perspective, with a view to constructing a conceptual framework of the performing arts experience for youth. Y. K. Sung in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Vicky investigated the role of a protein called neuroserpin in nerve cell growth and learning and memory. Their studies have contributed to a better understanding of neuroserpin function in the brain, information that will be essential to understanding its role in behaviour and recent links to neurological disorders. John David Van Power in Chemistry, University Doctoral Scholar. John designed and synthesized new supramolecular assemblies of photoactive porphyrin hosts with cage-like carbon fullerene guests, which mimic charge separated states in the natural photosynthetic reaction center. Andrew James Veal in Biological Sciences. Andrew used genetic methods to describe the dispersal of stoats across the landscape, particularly to islands. 
has resulted to help him to inform and plan soap control programs for a number of ecological sanctuaries around New Zealand. Sarah Jane Withers in Biological Sciences, University Doctoral Scholar. Sarah investigated genetic, morphological, and behavioral variation of the North Island rifleman, our smallest endemic bird. The results identified several distinct conservation management units, providing vital information to assist in future conservation efforts for this subspecies. Issue in biological sciences. Lance developed a cell line producing bioactive human adiponectin, a potential new drug for the experimental treatment of adiponectin deficiency states such as type 2 diabetes. He has demonstrated the relationship between structure and function in this molecule. Shilong Zhu in Mathematics, University Doctoral Scholar. Shilong developed new approaches to investigating the mathematical properties of graph networks and the range of topological objects they can embed into. Posthumous Conferment of a Doctor of Philosophy. Yue Gui in Marine Science, University Doctoral Scholar. Yue's research has provided a basis for the development of improved methods for raising seed mussels for New Zealand's largest aquaculture industry, which is worth over $200 million a year in export. The detailed understanding of the feeding of these seed mussels will enable new and more efficient methods to provide for their efficient feeding. We invite Yui Gray's mother and a friend of her family to receive the degree. all those other persons named in the Book of Convocation qualified for the conferment of a doctoral degree in the Faculty of Science and Faculty of Law. As we are near the end of our proceedings for today, and on behalf of the University, I invite all today's graduates to stand and receive the congratulations of us all. Standing, it would be a great opportunity for the graduates to show their appreciation of their families and supporters and the staff of the university who have helped them as they achieve their qualifications. Could you please remain standing? This concludes this meeting of Council and Convocation of the University for the conferment of degrees and the award of diplomas. I now invite you to sing the first verse of God defend New Zealand, first in Māori and then in English. The words are printed on the reverse of your program. <laughs> Thank you.